melodies wandering the wind, wafting to pastures beyond their home. Two greedy fishies struggling to swim. They ate so much that they're starting to groan. Animal crystal fly draped in gold robes, a bright little light from that glazed lantern glows. Benches pinch the rice and scoot while the boars of the forest anxiously root. Welcome one and all to this festival of poetry, jointly organized by Lua and Mondstadt. Or in full, the neighboring nation's congenial poetry gala. We're your hosts. Liyue's verse monger of the darkest alleys, Hu Tao. And Mondstadt's liquor-loving lyricist, Venti the Bard. The purpose of this event is to promote friendly poetic exchanges between our two nations. So please, have fun, talk to other people, and make some new friends. If you're here, you're our guest. So please enjoy this poetry fest. I'd also like to reassure everyone that this event welcomes people of all skill levels, from first-time rhymers to seasoned songwriters. If you ask me, the most important thing you can bring to writing poetry is authenticity. That means reaching deep down to all the thoughts and feelings you usually hide away or struggle to express, and putting them into words. Just write from the heart in whatever form you like. To help everyone really cut loose and enjoy themselves to the fullest, Venti and I have carefully prepared a three themes to be revealed over the course of three days. Let's get right to it! The first theme is... Riddle Me This. Solving riddles, huh? Interesting. It's actually a pretty good choice for a warm-up activity. Whew. I'm glad they're not making us write sonnets or something right at the start. Does everyone see the lanterns hanging around the venue? These have been specially prepared for the riddle game. Simply write down your riddle and hang it on a lantern. Then Venti and I will select a few to pose to the crowd, and you will try to solve them. We'll now give you some time to write down and hang up your riddles. Feel free to walk around and talk with the other contestants to get the creative juices flowing. And remember, whoever guesses the most riddles correctly will get a prize. And with that, the neighboring nation's congenial poetry gala has officially begun. I just read that one too. Liyue's poems seem pretty difficult to grasp. Dreams? Sky? Is it talking about some kind of bird? Um, so it means something like, uh, this thing's really far from home, it's in a vast area, and it's flying really high. Is that it? Oh, you're amazing, Paimon! Oh, that looks like I still have a lot of learning to do. Oh, it's nothing, really. Once you've spent enough time in Liyue, you just sort of pick up on these things. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Back when I was out with the Grandmaster on the expedition, I started picking up some local customs without even realizing it. But back to the riddle. We still haven't actually solved it. What could it be talking about? Something that flies high and far. Hmm. Oh, that makes me think of dandelions. Oh, that makes sense. And Mondstatters believe that dandelions can carry your feelings on the wind. But maybe we're missing something? We can't be that easy. After all, it's a riddle from Liyue. What would their equivalent of the dandelion be? If there even is one. 
What do you think, Traveler? Great! Then we'll have one answer ready to go when the game begins. Right! Just like Venti said. As long as the interpretation makes sense and reflects our perception of the poem, then perhaps there are no wrong answers. Well, no matter what the real answer is, the guessing's all a part of the fun! Let's go look at the next one! Oh, yes! I want to see if there's any Mondstadt-style riddles. <laughs> that was a good little opening ceremony, wasn't it? Even if I do say so myself. We couldn't cajole Adeptus Chow in the end. He said he'd take a peek from the peaks, but that was all he'd agree to. It's a real shame. I had the perfect poem for his entrance and everything. This one says... Oh, this handwriting is just awful. Um... I have four corners like a square pancake, but I'm stuffed and seasoned and carefully baked. I pass through the lips one piece at a time. The more you consume, the broader your mind. Oh, well, Paimon's drooling from that one. Is there really a food that can make you smarter? Paimon's gotta try that! <laughs> oh, Paimon, you have to look past the surface-level meaning with riddles, or you'll fail to plumb their depths. Huh? So have you got any ideas, Shincho? <laughs> well... Shincho just hung that riddle up a moment ago. Oh, so this is Shincho's riddle! You know, Paimon was expecting you to write something a little more... elegant. This festival is about building friendship and mutual understanding. With so many friends from Mondstadt present, I thought I'd try writing something more accessible and less flowery, so that more people could enjoy it. Hey, not bad! Uh, so, buddy, does that mean you can tell your old pal Paimon the answer on the sly, or...? Not a chance. You'll have to wait for the answer to be revealed, just like everyone else. Ha! <laughs> Mimi! If that's how you feel, why don't you try and stump me with a riddle of your own? Uh, uh, maybe Paimon will! We'll see who stumps who! Traveler, you'll help Paimon come up with a riddle, right? Ha! At least you're nice to Paimon! <laughs> then I look forward to seeing the fruits of your literary labors. that the chairs get tired from working all the time, so they shouldn't use them to sharpen their claws. Oh, okay. So a riddle needs to have a bait and switch. Are you trying to write one? Yep, and thanks to you, Paimon's just thought of one. Maybe I should try to come up with one, too. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Anna, do you want to know the answer? Nah, no need. I don't really care about winning a prize. Oh, okay then. Well, looks like it's time to carry on with the event. We should regroup with the others. Sure, have fun. <laughs>